Hey, what's up, y'all? How y'all doing? So, um, so I did like a little part one of the drive from Texas to Florida yesterday, and um, and today we're here in Florida. So, um, so I wanted to discuss part two of it of um of the experience and um and what happened to us um yesterday. Um, so a little backstory. Um. So, the drive from Texas to Florida is twenty some hours plus. So we d we did that drive. Um, we had to do that drive, um, and we decided to stop to go see my mom in Georgia, which is a couple hours out of our way, basically. Um, and to have children in the back, and two hours is a big thing for us. Um, so yeah, so. So, um, so the backstory about my mom. Um, my mom had a stroke and everything like that. Um, and she had a stroke and all, right? Um, multiple strokes. Um, she, 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 she hasn't been doing well for, for quite a time. For, for some time. Um, when I left to Texas, um, <clears throat> it was hard to, to see her. It was hard to, to even go, um, to, um, to, to, to Georgia. And like that because um she, she she went to Georgia um she went to Georgia basically um and everything well she went to Georgia um because my sister um she takes advantage of my dad basically um she is my older sister okay <clears throat> I have two sisters my older sister she takes advantage of my dad my dad has social security she takes his money she she basically um she's not, she doesn't work. So how she lives, she's she she's forty years old, forty year old woman, um, kids and all. You know she she doesn't work. She lives off his check basically, off off of his um, off his social security, his hard work social security. Um, she lives off of that basically, and she takes his money. Um, and my mom obviously she follows my dad, and my dad follows my sister. Um, I don't know why. Um, to be honest, I think she has something on my dad. I don't know what it is, but she has something on my dad. Um, and he does whatever, whatever she says, he jumps, he does it. So basically they're, they're in Georgia. So, um, so, so, okay. Right. Um, so with us having two children and my wife's a travel nurse and and then with my job too um i think i'm gonna start doing um uh, uh, um uh, 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 and then as far as my job uh, 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 i'm gonna start uh, i'm gonna start traveling too basically um like with my job too so with that um we're not sure of the next time that i will be able to see my mom and then having two children with that and everything so I'm not sure when the next time I'm gonna see my mom. Um, we're not even, and mind you, our, our daughter never seen my mom. My mom never seen my daughter. My dad never seen my daughter. My sister never seen my daughter either. Um, so we drive up there. And when we drive up there, um, so mind you, two hours out of our way and 20 some hour drive, which is crazy. Um, our daughter, um, uh, um, our daughters, they are in a car seat. With them in a car seat, the problem is, like, you know how your body aches? Your body aches, okay? And just imagine a baby being in a car seat. You know, we had to stop multiple times, like, over and over and over and everything. So, um, basically, yeah. So, so we ended up going there. And when we went there, um, we were expecting to go in the house. To go see my mom, take pictures. Our daughter, when they grow older, they be like, "Oh, that's my grandma." You know, "Oh, that's my grandma." You know, oh, I, I was with her. You know, even though, you know, if if she, if, if if she's not alive anymore, you know, at least she they, they'll get to see her. And even for me, I would be able to get to see my mom before you know, um, for anything, you know, um, and and. Part I forgot is that we um we told them 
the, the night before we're, we're coming on our way um, that morning. So they had hours to prepare. Um, hours. Um, and then we still contact them two, three hours before we even arrived to contact them and everything. And it was a little fuss, but then ultimately she said that she will, um, uh, um, she said, I gotta clean up and, you know, um, it's okay, come on. So we, we go there. And she has this little boy, um, there basically, all, which, all, which is, like some 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 boy or whatever I'm not going to that but um some little boy there um and he stops us everything he's in the porch and then he said he's going to go get grandpa which is my dad I'm like okay my dad comes out and I'm like okay so we can't go in and he says uh no you can't come in because the owner of this house told me you can't come in mind you she don't work She's not paying bills. My dad is paying the bills. So with my dad paying the bills, the problem with that is, like I said, she must have something on him um, because he does whatever. And he's paying bills. He's paying all the bills. He's paying for them to have a shelter over their head and everything. So I end up going. So, so, so when we're there and everything, um, I'm asking, I'm like, so you can't come in? They're like, nah, because coronavirus and everything like that. I'm like, okay, so we can't come in? And he's like, yeah, you, because um, you're going to end up giving her the coronavirus. And we're like, oh, so, okay. Um, which, it's no problem with that. Okay, I understand that. But the issue I have is there's options, you know. You could, uh, um, um, like, uh, um, like with the blinds, you could open the blinds up so we can talk to her basically from out of the window. We could have did that, you know. Um, um, my, my, my daughters could have seen, could take pictures like that. It don't, it don't matter. We could explain them, we, 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 we could explain to them about the times, you know, and what was going on, you know, why it's like that. But they didn't do that. Um, my sister could have walked out on the porch and say, hey, how you doing? You know, a oh, long time. She didn't do that. Um, my nieces and nephews, none of them came out and said hi. Um, I seen one of my nieces just walk by. She's 18. I know. She, she just she runs by in the backyard, just look at us, and that's it. Don't say hi. Don't say anything. Just like we didn't even exist. And mind you, we drove this far, and it's hot, 80-something degrees outside. And we're hot with two babies, with mosquitoes and flies, and it was crazy. And we're like, wow, did we just really make this drive? I have my wife outside, and I made this drive just so my dad could be like, nah, you can't come in. And what doesn't make sense to me, if you're so concerned about the virus, why even have him come outside when he spends the time with my mom? He spends the most time with my mom. He lays next to my mom, so we can get him infected and he can give it to her. So you really concerned about the coronavirus? Why do that? Um, at the end of the day, I thought that would just, it, it was just wicked. It was, it was so bad. Like to do that, like, okay, you do it to me and my wife. Cool. But to my babies. To little babies. Little babies are dead. They're not big. They're not, neither one past a year old. And this is what you do? This is what you do. And we drove all this way. You know, so I, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should ever go back again. I don't know what I should do. Because it is frustrating, man. It sucks. Um, and if you're watching this, sister, you messed up for that. You real messed up for that. You messed up. Like, I don't care what was going on. It would be my last time seeing my mom. It would be my children last time seeing their grandma. You know, and you do this. And you do something like this. It's wicked, man. It, it, it ain't right. It ain't right. Not one bit. Not one bit. And I hope you see this. I want you to see this. I want... I really do want you to see this because... You know what? I'm going to send it to you, too. 
I'm gonna send it to you, and um, and I'm, I'm letting you know how nasty that is. You gotta be a nasty person. You gotta be so nasty deep down inside to do something like that. Like I would never, ever, 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 ever do anything like that, ever. And I understand the coronavirus. Oh, cool. But, but you could have poked your head out, walked outside, you know, or whatever. You know, or for example, like just to have us open the door, at least we could walk in and be like, hey, we don't have to touch her, we don't have to do none of that. Or you could just walk outside and, you know, and just have, you know, you walk outside, hi, how you doing? But I'm sorry, y'all, uh, whatever. Or just tell us, we told you the night before, we told you two hours before, just tell us, hey, don't come. If, or if you're going to come, we, we're not going to let you in. If we knew that, we'd be like, okay, cool, we'll just wait until the coronavirus over and we'll try to somehow catch a flight whatever we had to do to go see her we'll do that no problem but to have my family go through that and you don't say anything you say nothing at all it's it's it's, it's sick i'm sorry i can't say anything else about that man and and people wonder why i'm not close to my family this is why this is the reason why so yeah so that's part two. I know it's a long video, y'all, but just try to watch it, man. Um, it's pretty long. Well, it's 11 minutes. Come on. But yeah, but um, let me, uh, um, what, well, um, just tell me what y'all think about it, and um, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to y'all later, man. It's crazy.